Good morning, Titan Nation. Today is Wednesday, April 16th. I'm Nomi. And I'm Arletti. Titans, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Tetons, remember, have pride in our school and pride in yourself. Do the right thing. And now, over to Mrs. Farrell. Good morning, Golden Gate. Hope you're having a great day. And to our 10th graders, I wish you the best on your FCAT testing. But I know you're going to knock it out of the box. A couple of things we need to talk about. And this is all business, so listen up. Credit denial. A lot of you should have received your gold color paper letter probably yesterday one side says that you have been denied credit and on that side it also says if you would like to appeal please fill out the information on the back side of that paper you need to have a parent's signature you need to get that back into the attendance and discipline office as soon as possible we will be starting with seniors on Monday so I need those back tomorrow because tomorrow is really like our Friday and I know that they went out so teachers if you have not picked up those letters out of your box they go out to your seventh period class students if you have not received this letter for whatever reason please come down today at the end of the day and see Miss Fortune and get another copy. We will, again, like I said, start with seniors and work our way down. If we don't get a letter from you, then it's not good to assume, but we will make the assumption that our records are accurate and that you have missed more than 10 days of school this semester. It would be a shame to work so hard and then lose credit because of your attendance. If you have doctor's notes, guys, that you have forgotten to turn in, or that you can go and get, whatever the case may be, you can bring them to that meeting, or you can submit them before the meeting. But we will begin with seniors. We will go in alphabetical order so your counselors can be there and work through our credit denial process beginning Monday, April 21st. I apologize about the cookies yesterday. There was a little bit of miscommunication with myself in the cafeteria, but cookies will be on for tomorrow. I might do a sale, maybe one for one, I don't know yet. Just to make up for Tuesday, I might. Um, not promising. And the other piece is, it is Basketball Wednesday, so I will be down in the gym waiting on you to come and shoot some hoops, work off a little stress, take some time out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say to you. I'm sure there is, but it won't come to me until tomorrow. Have a great day. Go Titans. If you are applying for the Dr. Ethel Tristad Scholarship for students entering the medical field, please make sure your application is turned into guidance by tomorrow. Hodges will be here Friday, April 25th at 1 p.m. Students may sign up in the guidance office. Old phones, tablets, and inkjet cartridges will be collected through next week. Please help support the basketball team by dropping them off in room 3126. Attention juniors and seniors, prom tickets will be on sale tomorrow during lunch outside of Building 1. Tickets will be $80, and there are only a few left. Next week, the prom ticket price will go up to $90. There are beautiful formal dresses available for free to any high school girl who may not be available to purchase one. There are over 300 dresses available in many different sizes and styles. Lots of them are brand new. The dresses are lo all located at the Fashion Fresh Cleaner Store at the shops at Pebblebrook Shopping Center on the corner of Immokalee Road and Collier Boulevard 951, just north of Oak Ridge Middle School. Two dates will be available for any high school girl to go to that store to choose a dress 
this Friday is one of the dates, April 18th, and this Saturday, April 19th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And here are today's clubs. Guess what day it is? Uh-oh. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. The Kids Can meeting scheduled for today has been canceled due to FCAT testing. And now, for what's happening on the sports scene at the gate. Naples outlasted our Titans in the district semifinals last night, 13-9, to advance to the district championship. Max Cruz and Alex Garcia put in three goals each. Coach Silvio says, I want to thank my team for an excellent season. I also want to thank my 11 seniors for playing for my coaches and I. They played to the end tonight. I leave this season knowing that my 11 through 5 lacrosse team has taught how to play lacrosse with their hearts and with every ounce of their abilities. And there's a volleyball meeting today in room 5116 during lunch. And now over to Joey Metzger for a football announcement. Football players or anyone who wants to play football this spring. This practice starts Thursday, April 24th. You must see Coach D in the weight room anytime during the day, during lunch, or after school before you can participate. If you think you're tough like me, come out and show us. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, the yearbooks are still on sale for $75, and if you have the $10 coupon, they are $65. That's it for the school news. We're out. Have a great one, Titan Nation. All right, bye.